What is going on guys? So I have some amazing news. I may have my first ever client in my sales pipeline. This is super, super exciting. This is me not even a week after starting this agency. Look at this as motivation because this only took me 15 LinkedIn messages for somebody to actually respond and have actual genuine interest. So there is lots and lots and lots of demand for this thing. Just so you know, I did all of this outreach without having any expertise in actually building these chatbots for these clients. The reason I'm doing this outreach is basically to gain case study data for myself and help build my confidence of, okay, is there actually a need for this in the marketplace? That's exactly what it did for me. It's really nailed in the confidence within me to think, okay, this is something that potential clients could actually want and it's something that they need. It helped automate their business, make their business more efficient, and they'd be willing to pay good money to do so. So just to let you guys know, this is what I was doing. I was doing this before I actually had any expertise, I suggest you guys do the same thing to just build this confidence, get things working. And once you have a client lined up, just reverse engineer, hire somebody to do the chatbot or you know, then you do your studying, figure out how to do this stuff and fulfill the services. It's all about getting a client in the door. That's all I have to say. The next part of this video is going to actually be me doing the outreach yesterday. Last night is when I got the response from the client. It is actually the next day. So this next part of the video is going to be before I got interest from the client. These messages I was sending is actually how I acquired this potential client and got him in my pipeline. So tune into this. It's going to provide some real value and show you exactly what it is I was doing. I think this method for outreach is going to be a phenomenal method. I think it's really going to connect with the leads in your pipelines. After that, I will dive into exactly what it is that I talked about with this client. I'll break down the whole conversation with them piece by piece and analyze the whole thing, kind of see what was going through my head, what was going through my client's head, and then also what it is that we'll be creating for this client. So tune in, it's gonna be an amazing video. Here is inside of my LinkedIn profile. I'll show you real quick how my LinkedIn profile is formatted. So you can see here I have a header, Seamless AI Automations, has my branding here. Basically my profile just says what I do, automating business workflows with AI. I wanna keep that as minimal as possible. I want people to look at my profile and know immediately what it is that I offer. As you can see here, I have 500 plus connections. I have about 1,034 followers. I have built this account religiously over the past few months. Like I said, this was my main source of getting clients. So I would max out out outreach every single week and you know sending connection requests. So this is a reflection of the time that I put in to actually do this. It's going to take time. But don't worry, if you don't have many followers, you could still connect with clients. I got my first client when I only had maybe five connections or something. I got pretty lucky. So do not worry about the follower count. But if you could see here, I'm basically posting every day a piece of interesting content. I basically just made a post, a personal post saying, you know, how this past weekend I really dove into the AI automation world and talking about how it's going to change things just to show that I'm kind of reputable in the space. So I'm a normal human human being. I made another post kind of just talking about how to automate your new leads and your sales pipeline with AI. It's something very simple. I make all these graphics on Canva. And also if you come down here, this is still kind of optimized to my old VA agency. I made this right here, this video just with the loom, kind of like what I'm doing now just explaining things. This is a really good one. I basically talk about how if you can outsource something for cheaper than your hourly rate, you need to do it. Kind of the same thing with automating things. Anyways, you just need to make sure that you have some sort of posting there that is within the industry you're involved in so people see that you're reputable. Let's get into the messaging. All these people I have been sending connection requests to, and as, as you see here, I basically just say, Angel, I'd love to have you as a connection. I personalize it with their first name. I just copy paste, delete their name, and then type in their actual name. That's what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and actually send the first follow-up message. So, hi, Rebecca. I wanna ask you a quick question for a case study I'm doing. If you were to be given an AI chatbot that was trained on your company, would this be something of value to you? This bot would scrape your website and would know up to 87% of your business so it could help questions that clients or prospects have. If you could honestly let me know whether this is something that could automate your business and will provide value, please let me know. So I'm asking this question because I initially want to ask them, hey, would this provide value to you if I were to do this? I'm just asking for a friend, you know, I'm using this as a case study to see if this is something that businesses need. I'm not necessarily selling my services right off the bat because if you're selling your services right off the bat, especially with a new connection you've made, trust me, I've done this it comes off in the wrong way. People do not want to talk to you. It's just a waste of time. So it's better to ask it in a way of like, hey, do you know anybody at all that would be interested in you know having a personalized chatbot with AI, this sort of thing. But I, I really like this approach that I went for here. Try out you know a bunch of different other things, but this is what I'm going with. So let's just do this here. Send a bunch of these. 
I have so many people in my sales navigator pipeline right here. I'm going to literally take 30 minutes and just bust this out because this is where, you know, you're actually going to get on the phone with potential clients. And then this is also building self-confidence for yourself. Now I know that there's a need for this service and psychologically it does something in your brain of like, okay, before you get any interest from somebody, you're like, do people really need this? But if you reach out to somebody and they're like, this would be awesome, this would change things for me, something just clicks in your brain and then that's when things really take off because you understand there is a need for it. I just really suggest to you, you go out there and just start doing it. Here we go. So my initial message, this is on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. This is where I was messaging. David, I'd love to have you as a connection. I hope you're having an amazing week. The reason I did this is because I'm not you know, trying to pitch them on anything. I'm just basically saying, hey, David, you know, I'd love to have you as a connection. If you're pitching somebody right off the bat, it's just a red flag. You want to be personable and you don't want to try to be selling them right off the bat just for obvious reasons. And so once the connection was formed, I said, hi, David, I want to ask a quick question for a case study I'm doing. If you were to be given a AI chatbot that was trained on your company, would this be something of value to you? This bot would scrape your website and would know up to 87% of your business. So it could help answer questions that clients or prospects have regarding your services. If you could honestly let me know whether this is something that you that could automate your business and provide value, please let me know. So the reason I went with this approach is because it's being personable and you're just asking, hey, is this something that you would see value in if it were possible to do? And it's not like you're selling something. You're just straight up asking, hey, is this something that would provide value to you? You're not asking them for their money. You're not asking for them for a phone call. His response, he said, what would automate the business is if the chat bot worked for our sales team. And so let's get into the next slide. My response, I said, how so? Are you saying if the chatbot was trained on your sales strategy and products you offer so your sales team can understand it more? Or if the sales team were to deploy it to the leads in your pipeline? The prospect responded, no, we have 58 sales reps that all have product and company questions. As a sales manager, if I could have them ask a chatbot first, instead of calling or messaging me, I think productivity would go up. All of our calls are recorded and I have Teams chat that av that's available. If I could get an AI trained on that data, 80% of my job would have been moved to AI. Is that possible yet? So this is a money Super Bowl championship response here. He's basically explaining to us a pain point for him that our service would be solving. And this, this is amazing. You know, if 80% of his job could get automated through this chatbot, how much do you think he's willing to pay us the service provider and the AI automation agency to help provide provide this for him and fulfill this service to him. This is huge. The fact that he brought this up, he has 58 sales reps that all have product and company questions. You know, you could see here he gets fed up with them calling or messaging him. He thinks his productivity would go up. This is a perfect, perfect response. And I'm so excited to get on a phone call with this guy because I, I know that I could close him because he has an obvious need for this service. So this could save companies thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month and that gives us room to be able to charge you know five six thousand dollars a month retainer or something would you need to put together a quote all softball to the owner next week so this is money he already asked me for a quote he's 100 percent interested here the game plan is going to be get him on a discovery call from there i'm going to just basically get the things that i need from him sales training webinars pdfs or anything anything on the website that i could feed the chatbot basically i need to get the data source for the chatbot all situated. I need to extract this data from him. And then from there, I could go ahead and start inputting this into a chatbot and going from there. But keep this in mind, I have no, no experience building a chatbot. I'm just reverse engineering this based on this guy's needs. He's going to provide me with his information with his company that I could train the bot on. And from there, I'll figure out how to do it. If I need to, I'll hire somebody within a Discord channel or something that knows knows how to do this sort of thing. But yeah, I want to show you that. This is my first ever client in the pipeline. This is after 10 messages on LinkedIn, guys. I mean, this is awesome. So there we have it, guys. We have this new client in the pipeline. Now it is up to me to try to lock in a deal. Next step here, is I'm going to try to get him on a discovery call. I'm going to basically ask him as much of the company data as possible. If I could get training videos, if I could get PDFs, if I could get websites just to scrape data from and add this to our data source and engineer this chatbot and give him kind of some results and give him a demo of kind of what the bot could do. And from there, try to lock him in for a contract. That's the next step. I hope in the next video, maybe I could bring you on the discovery call so you guys can kind of see the process. Now it's just kind of a waiting game. He asked me for a quote. I need to just dissect his business first and see all the things that we need to add to this chatbot to see how complex it's gonna be. Give him a quote on this and hopefully I could quote him for quite a bit. 
but I guess we'll have to go from there. So in the next video, I'm hoping maybe I could explain to you the process of this, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope it's not too long before you guys get your first, you know, potential client. Like I have like a warm lead in the door. It's an amazing feeling. Happy to show you guys this whole process. So send your good intentions to me. I hope I lock them in, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the video.